everybody. Welcome to part three of Starting School Stories. My name is Mrs McLeod and I'm an early years officer at Burnt Island Primary School. And Teddy is here with another story that he'd like to share with you, aren't you Teddy? Yes, yes, it's going to be a good one. Today's story is Harry and the Dinosaurs Go to School. And this book has two authors. That's two people that wrote this book. Ian Wybro and Adrian Reynolds. And we have a blurb on the back of the book as well. And the blurb is a little bit of information to tell us what the story is going to be about. Let's read it. It's Harry's first day at school. He and the dinosaurs are very excited and perhaps a little bit nervous. But when Harry's dinosaur friends don't join him in the classroom, Harry's not sure he's going to like school. There's another new boy who's really unhappy too. Can the dinosaurs come to the rescue and make school fun for both of them? Let's find out. It was a big day for Harry. He was starting at his new school. He was very excited because one of his friends, Charlie, was starting that day too. Stegosaurus said he didn't want to go. Not after Triceratops told him about no rhyme in the classroom. Mum said not to worry, school would be fine. Harry blew his whistle, just like the teacher. He said, in twos, holding hands, my dinosaurs, no talking, and jump in the bucket. The dinosaurs did what Harry said, all except Stegosaurus. He was so nervous, all his plates were rattling. Harry had to give him a special stroke. Sam said, you can't take dinosaurs to school, stupid. And that's why her post fell on the floor. Mum took Harry to school. Mrs Rance was waiting at the classroom door when Harry and Mum got there. Hello, Harry, she said. Welcome to your new school. And they all said goodbye to the mums and dads. Then Mrs Rance showed Harry the coat pegs. You can leave your lunchbox here too, she said. Harry was too shy to say, could he have his bucket back? And that's why the dinosaurs were left outside the classroom. Harry missed his dinosaurs, so he didn't like the classroom. He didn't like the home corner or the special work tray. And he felt sorry for another boy with a digger who cried when his mum went home. The boy wouldn't say one single word, not even his name. Harry sort of liked the playground at playtime, but it wasn't much fun, even the monkey bars, not without his dinosaurs. Back in the class, Digger Boy still wouldn't speak. Maybe he wants to go to the toilet, suggested Harry. I'll show him where it is, shall I? Mrs Rand said, good idea, how thoughtful. All the way to the toilet, the boy kept quiet. It was the same on the way back, till they got to the coats. Then they heard a voice, a very sad and very soft Rah! It said, That's my dinosaur, said Harry. They miss me. Would you like to see them? The boy nodded. So Harry said, This is my Aptosaurus and my Anchosaurus and my Skeldosaurus. This is Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus Rex. Pterodactyl is the baby. Wait, where's Stegosaurus? Jump out, Stegosaurus, called Harry. Don't be shy. But Stegosaurus wanted a whisper. Ah, said Harry. Stegosaurus says he will come out, but only if he can have a ride on your digger. And do you know what? The boy nodded and passed it over. When Harry and the boy got back, Mrs Rand said, Oh, good, dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Do they rah? Rah! said the dinosaurs, and they blew all the windows open. My goodness, said Mrs Rance, that was a rah. They all sat down in the classroom. Now, we're going to make new labels for our coat pegs, said Mrs Rance. Hands up, who knows how to write their name? And the boy with the digger put up his hand. What are you going to write, smiled Mrs Rance. Jackasaurus, said the boy. It was a little, the very first word he had spoken all day, and what a good joke too. 
all the other children laughed and laughed. Harry felt very happy. Charlie, Harry and the new friend Jack sat down together at the table with the dinosaurs. They laughed and they rad and they made beautiful labels to show them where they belonged. And look at this. Here's a picture of all Harry's dinosaurs. Here's Triceratops, Pterodactyl, Stegosaurus. I wonder if Harry ever sorts out his dinosaurs. He'd sort them out into little ones and big ones, ones with plates, ones without plates, ones with long necks, and ones with short necks. I wonder if I've got anything in my house that I could sort out. What was that, Teddy? What about the messy box of spoons at your feet? Oh, let's have a little look. They are in a bit of a mess. I wonder if I could sort them out. Come on, come down, Teddy. Let's see what we can do. Hmm, well, that's quite a big spoon. I'll put that one over there. What else have we got? Mm. That's a very little spoon. And that's a little, little spoon. Big, big, oh, wait a minute, this one's not big and it's not small, it's in the middle, so I would say that one's medium, I'm going to put that there, oh, and there is somewhere, medium, small, look at those all sorted, I hope you're going to help me with this Teddy, this is going to take me ages, I wonder if you've got any spoons at home that you could sort out boys and girls, or maybe you've got some stones in the garden, or maybe some of your clothes, it's quite fun to sort, but I'm going to get on with this. And everybody, this is the story that's come to an end, the starting school story. Teddy and I have had lots of fun, and we hope you did too. And Teddy will be back very soon. Bye!